What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are still grinding in the PTR. We're bringing a couple more classes um, for you guys um, for the PTR. And then I think uh, we're covering a little bit of something extra, but I wanted to go over the Necro and the Masquerade of the Burning Carnival build because they did buff Bone Spear. So as you see, the six set piece bonus is Bone Spear cast by you and your Simulacrums deal 9,000% increased damage. And then Simulacrums gain triple this bonus, which means it's 27,000% damage from your Simulacrums. Now this used to be just 6,000% across the board. So they buffed it and then added a triple bonus to Simulacrums. Now I've gone to an extent testing on this guys you're gonna see us do one i'm gonna say on the safe bet you're doing sub 230s um, on gr 90s but you have to build it this particular way so let's go over everything so of course we got the five piece um set here for uh masquerade the burning carnival so we got five pieces there and i paired it with the guardian set okay i used to have captain crimson's on here but captain crimson's we just weren't dealing enough damage so we decided to do guardians for the uh the increase into all of our stats which is just awesome so we paired it with that and then in our bracers you have to have the morrow guards for bone spear cast from simulacrum steel even more damage which is great and then of course we have our rings and amulets which is haunted visions for simulacrums uh so that way they're up permanently and then i this is the pair that i did i yes i know guys i don't have coe in here but i decided to go with crimson sentence for the triple damage and then briggs wrath to help pull in everybody to get that curse damage on there to you know it applies the curse and then we deal more damage so i'm opting for briggs wrath over coe okay it the, the way we're building it with briggs wrath is that way we're just gonna Pull everything in and then hit them with a, a, a shattered bone spear and just basically, you know, ignite everybody and just blow them into pieces. So Briggs Wrath there. And then, of course, our legendary gems are Bane of the Powerful for because we are going to be kind of speedy with this build. And we want to hunt in groups and be able to deal a lot of damage all at once. So Bane of the Powerful, just keep that going. Then Zaya Stone of Vengeance, which is gonna do some damage, not as much as I would like. I haven't really found another gem that'll take this spot, but let me know down in the comments, guys. And then of course, Bane of the Trap for more damage. Uh, our two weapons here, must haves, okay? So we got Lost Time here, your cold skills reduce movement. And then in addition, our speed is increased by 8% for five seconds. Okay, now this is really nice. You may be able to opt with a different um, offhand. This is just probably the best one just to have everything just frozen up. You deal additional damage. If there is another one that would work here, guys, let me know down in the comments. But uh, through testing, this is just what I found to be the best one. And then, of course, the Scythe of the Sickle. Our secondary skills, which is Bone Spear, does 400% increased damage when Bone Armor is active. And we will always have Bone Armor active, even with the 4% or 4 seconds that gets taken away from it when we are casting Bone Spear. So that's the gear, guys. Over to the cube, we have the Petrified Spike to deal more damage for Bone Spear. Stuart Greaves, so that way we can rush around because this is going to be a speedier build. And then, of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair the two sets. Into our skills. Now, here's where the mix-up is, and I think I'm going to get a lot of hate from you guys down in the comments. But So I'm going with Frailty, Aura of Frailty. Okay. I've really opted for this one because I want to click the least amount of buttons as possible and just ignite everything. So this is going to give us a range, and this is the way I, built the, uh, I decided to build the build. Uh, so we're gonna get an aura starting at 15 yards and then which is gonna curse everything we get our additional damage and then the range is infected uh, in Increases by 50% by our gold pickup radius, which we have at 19. So we get half of this I don't know if it's rounded up. I'm just gonna round it down. So we're gonna get uh, Nine more yards onto this. So we're gonna be at 24 yards So that we're just gonna be rushing through everything pulling them together grouping them up and then hitting them with a shattered bone spear and it's going to be great and blow everything up uh bone spear shatter uh it, it ignites and deals 500 percent damage against all enemies in 15 yards blood rush for movement to get around with potency and then devour devouring aura this way when we kill stuff we're going to run over and pick it up and keep our essence full bone armor distillation to just stun everybody and to keep our defenses high and then of course simulacrum reservoir to give us maximum essence while it's active 
into our passives rigor mortis so that way our poison ability is now slow which all of our stuff is doing is poison and then uh we get to uh, reduce their attack speed even more so we have that and then uh stand alone for armor dark reaping so that way we get our two percent essence and life per kill to stay alive and then spreading uh, maldiction to receive a damage buff for each enemy afflicted by a curse so that is the build guys when you go into your passives you could probably move this around uh, I did toy with uh, serration. I've toyed with fueled uh, by death to kind of move faster. This is just what I found to work best. But again, guys, let me know if you find something different in the comments. So that is the build. Now I will say this, there's two different ways to really build this. Uh, and you guys might ask that we have everything poisoned, but we're doing shatter, which is a physical. Now I know that, but we are, you know we have everything buffed here so there is the other way you could do it to where your haunted visions your weapon and your braces are all buffed to, to physical instead of poison but i'm going to keep this here it seems to be working really really good now again if you don't want to use shatter you could also use blighted morrow which will give you a damage increase for each bone spirit passes through so we're going to go over and do a gr90 and i hope i don't embarrass myself let's pop this open and let's get in here so when you come in pop simulacrums get your bone spear going or your uh, bone armor group everything up and just hit so you're really gonna be doing this a whole lot where you're just kind of grouping things up a lot of the times you're not gonna be stopping for a lot of the trash unless you can group them up we're basically gonna be elite hunting in a way Okay, unless there unless there's a big group to where we can just shatter them, we're not going to be caring too much about the trash, guys. We're just not. If we can get big groups like that and just move them around, sure. Grab our pylons and just move along because we shatter everything. And again, while we're running through, we get more enemies cursed, which is huge. This is what we want to do. Remember, we get that 1% bonus increase for each of them being cursed which is huge we love that and we want to try to abuse our Zaya's stone of vengeance which can be tough um with with this kind of build pulling them now you can always opt to change aura of frailty and be able to like click as you're moving to cast a curse which is fine too if you have the clicking power to do that i just figured this is the the easiest way to do it um oops left something there there we go but the build as you guys can see man it's really really speedy we get around the map like really fast um and i really hate that we're on play tunnels here for this showcase because this is probably one of the worst maps that we could have for this it's terrible actually it doesn't really put us in a good position there we go this will help finish us out we're gonna be sub three minutes here for sure guys see and once we get like a big mob and we can ignite everything like we group them up it's it's butter after that man see and we just wreck stupid play tunnels So two and a half minutes, guys, like I said, the sub three minutes is, um, and again, we don't have perfect gear. We have nothing augmented. Our, as you can see, our gems are really low. Uh, the only thing that we really have going for us is our, our uh, 900 Paragon levels. But besides that, see two minutes and 24 seconds, easy. It's, it's like I said, sub two and a half minutes, guys. Again, you could use Blighted Morrow instead of Shatter. But this is the Bone Spear uh, build, guys, with the new buff. I really wanted to showcase this because I'm a huge Necro fan and I can't wait to play Necro in Diablo 4. But again, this isn't buffed enough. There just isn't a way that I have found to really get Bone Spear back to what it was before. I think the only way that this would be viable to a degree is to increase the bone spear damage to 15,000 that would give us like three four more tiers of damage really and um, then it would be an actual build but again 
it is what it is they did their best i guess the, the build is really fun like uh it's it's really speedy but you really have to get like everything kind of perfect for it just to work and do sufficient damage but other than that like the build is just okay so maybe they you know blizzard will do some changes before the um season 28 launch so if you guys did enjoy today's video guys make sure to drop a like comment down below what do you think about the um buff to the necromancer um in the ptr and possibly hopefully it doesn't change at least in season 28 and as always stay gaming guys i'll catch you in the next one peace